Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to talk about two more meta characters which are extremely important meta characters in python and those meta characters are nothing but the caret which is nothing but this sign which is present on your keyboard and the dollar sign which is also present on your keyboard so we are going to learn the significance of these two meta characters and how these meta characters can be used in python so the main significance of these two meta characters is to specify the starting or ending of a particular string. So the caret sign actually specifies that the string is going to start from this particular position and the dollar sign actually signifies that this is the end of a particular string. So in order to understand this concept in a much more better way, let's go ahead and take a simple example. So the first thing which we do is that we import RE and I purposely import this module in each and every lecture so as to make these concepts firmly embedded into your mind so that you would never forget them. So once you import the regular expression module, the next thing which you need to do is that obviously we need to create a pattern as we always did. So let's type in pattern and this time we actually want to create a pattern with the caret sign and the dollar sign. So whenever you have to specify a string, you always specify those string in between the caret sign and the dollar sign. That means you simply give a caret sign which signifies the starting point of the string and the dollar sign actually specifies the ending point of the string. Now the reason why I say that these two meta characters are extremely important because these concepts are extremely useful while you are learning some framework like Django which is a web framework for Python. So in Django these two meta characters are extensively used so it's extremely important to understand them. So now let's create a pattern which accepts the word grey. So we simply type in gr. And as we don't know what is going to be here, so we simply use a dot meta character and then simply type in Y. So once you have this pattern in place, you are good to go. So now to test out this pattern, let's write a simple if statement. So we type if re dot match. And to this first thing which we pass in is going to be the pattern. And the next thing is let's simply pass in gray. So if this thing is true, then we want to print out a match. So let's type in match1. So if you save the code now and if you run it, as you could see, you will have a match over here. Now even if you replace this thing by let's say any alphabet, let's say you replace it by B, if you save the code and if you run it, even then you are going to have a match because it satisfies this regular expression pattern because we have mentioned that the string should actually start with a G. So this thing is starting with a G. Then it should have a R and then this dot signifies that you could have any character over here. So no matter what you put in here, it is always going to work. And finally at the end, we have ended the string with a Y. Now let's see what happens if we actually make some changes over here. So let's say instead of starting from G, we specify some other character right here. So if you save the code now and if you run this, as you could see, now you won't get a match right over here because this thing does not match up with this pattern as this pattern suggests that the string should always start with a G. Now let's go ahead and replace this with G and instead let's make some changes at the ending character. So let's say we have a P over here. So if we save the code and run this, as you could see, still we don't have any match and the reason for that is because the string is not matching up with this pattern because this pattern suggests that the string should always end with a Y. But as you could see, this is clearly not the case with this string because this string actually ends with a P. So again, if you replace this with Y, save the code and run it, now you could see as this string matches up with this pattern, now we have a match over here. So that is the main significance of the caret sign and the dollar sign. So this thing right here is nothing but the caret sign and this is the dollar sign. And these meta characters are used in the web framework Django when we need to actually write in the URL pattern. So a URL is nothing but anything which you type in a browser. So when you actually need to specify the URLs of the website which you are developing, so in that case, you actually need to mention those URLs in the form of regular expressions. So that is where these two meta characters actually come into picture. So we always need to specify 
our URL in the form of URL patterns by using the caret sign and the dollar sign. So that's it for this lecture and I hope you guys understood the significance of the meta characters which is the caret sign and the dollar sign. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.